Madeline is your new name. You better get my tag, nigga. Your name will be D E O D O A. We ready, baby. But I got my phone. I do my phone look like a look like a camera. You so see, I never met you. What's your name? Awesome. I said. Hi, I'm Tia Swanson. How are you? Did my friend send you to pick me up? Yeah. He always does. He takes good care of me. All men do. Jameson <laughs> <laughs> here, boo. Girl, get the thing and quit all that damn recording. Mo got this. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, baby. You can close the door for me. You so where you at? Thank you, boo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
I'm gonna tell you how everybody here at LBGTQA, uh, Walker and Tammy. You know, Walker and Tammy show is a show they're straight folks. So I got here, and when I got to the party, um, the people from the network, or the, the Lord, the Lord God, I, I don't want to be mean when I say God. Let me do this real quick. God. <laughs> Please get out my lips today, and don't let me say anything bad that I don't want to say bad. It's God, let me get out my lips. Let me make sure I say the right thing. All right, amen. So the, the people that worked there were cis, het, you know, all the stuff y'all learned in school right now. <laughs> cis, het, folks, black. And when I arrived to the uh, premiere of the Walker and Tammy situation here, when I arrived there, uh, I met them at the, at the door. I mean, at the uh, outside. So they had their pads out, and they was looking on the pads. And they didn't put my name on the pad, you know, which is okay. But you are, I'm tears massive. Let's just start there. Yeah. So they put my name on the pad. And I'm standing there, and they were getting ready to turn me away from the door. And the uh, executive of, uh, Owner over at WeTV walked us up. Oh, T.S. Hey, come on in, come, come in. So then everybody started to become nice, you know. And if you know me, you know what I did. How how free can I be in this room? Is free. free. I said, bitch. The next time you see me any motherfucking way, bitch, you respect me. <laughs> you know, bitch, you respect me because you know I, I put in the work for to be motherfucking. So, oh, T.S., I didn't know that was you. You look so different. I said, how different I look? I ain't. I'm still the fat bitch on the internet. You know what I'm so, <laughs> and so, I was so angry walking in there because I'm trans, and usually at times that's usually the way that they like to. Out of all the things that I've accomplished, out of everything, they didn't even have any idea that my TV show was coming, but I did. We had already shot, we had already, you know, we just hadn't, they, there was no, no announcements made. So that's why I was there. Um, I was so hurt because it wasn't that they were going to turn me away. It was they wanted, they wanted to do that. They wanted to, you know, invalidate my presence. They wanted to, you know, because I've been such a large voice, a huge voice on the internet, you know, like, like you're not supposed to, like, girl, girl, this is the time for us to, to humble you. And there are so many people who are hell-bent on hum humbling you because of their own preconceived, you know, ways of, like, how you became a star, because I am a star, regardless to whichever way I came, whether it was the internet, whether it was the adult film sector, whatever it was, I am a star, and self-made stars. Whether they give me a flower or not, those are facts, okay? Ask Beyonce, bitch, okay? <laughs> but, in the middle, beginning, and end of the day, people really go out of their way to minimize your presence as LBGTQIA folks. They, they try to minimize your presence and they try to make it seem like, oh, well, you don't really fit and belong in these spaces. Like, these are the spaces. Like, they own this, these spaces. Like, this is my space and you over here and only these amount of people know you and you know you don't belong here. Now, when the lady stands up, I was like, oh my God, T.S. Blah, 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 blah. She was like, oh, honey, she has a show coming. And it was like, I'm like, girl, gather your tongue, <laughs> gather your tongue, you know, and I really wanted to say so much more, but I just, you know, I just let that do what it do, and then all night, oh my God, she just want to take a picture with uh, uh, all of this shit all night, but I was so, it took a minute for me to shake that off, because I have experienced things like that through the course of my entire career, the course of it, even, even still up now, you know, People will try to tell you, humble yourself, be humble. Always remember to be humble. I want to tell everybody in this room, bitch, don't be humble for a motherfucking thing. Except, you know, keep your humility. Keep your humility. But when you go out and you make waves in this world and you, you make a name for yourself throughout the obstacles, 
See, it's the obstacles that people don't understand that 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 make you not arrogant, because I'm not arrogant at all, but it makes you let a bitch know. Like, girl, don't play with me. Do you know what I had to go through? Do you know the, the, the things that I pulled myself up from just to be even in a space for these people to be communicating with me? Don't ever try to, and you black doing this? That's, that's, our, that's the thing that hurts me the most. Like, you, 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 you had this in your, your chest to, to try to do this to me. I was so angry. But anyway, you know. I forgave him, and you know, every now and then I said, I hate her back. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, you know, this is it, you know, ah. Which again came to my mind, like, you know, when other people act like they don't see you, you don't know who sees you and who you're affecting and who, you know, whose life you're touching in this world. Honey, y'all don't know, that night I was, it took a lot for me. But this picture, I was very happy. I was, it was a lot going on. We took this picture for our Entertainment Weekly. Um, I met uh, Jessica Chastain. I told her how I loved her playing Tammy Faye. That I said, girl, and I'm very blunt everywhere I go. And so when she, when she came, I said, ooh, bitch, you up in that dress, girl. You was sick. I, I gave all this the stuff that the, the, the queer folks said, ooh, bitch, you sick. You up in that dress. You beautiful. You gorgeous. You just, and I said, bitch, you ate Tammy Faye up. She's like, oh, my God, I love you. <laughs> So she wrapped her arms around me, around me and we hugged. And I know those shoes. She had on probably about $10,000 shoes. You know, I was looking at her and said, girl, how do you get your feet? And I said, girl, I put on my little nana and as I get through. <laughs> you know, we joked and laughed. And, and I had a good time. And she received it. And, you know, this was it was, a, it was a moment. That was a moment there for me to be at that place. Um, even talking to Tyler Perry. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a moment there. It was just a, it was just a moment. Uh, you know, they will create a show, make a show, give you an opportunity to have a show, and then put so much weight on your back, and then judge what happens to your show on the next opportunity that they, that they give. And I want to talk about a lot of shit that that's, that's hurt me. I was hurt lots of times when I saw so many of my own LGBTQIA folks scream about how they were not going to support me or support my show. And I was just, y'all have no idea in this entertainment business how, that, how stuff like that makes you feel. When you hear them blankly say, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I will not. There's no reason for me to, I'm not going because, you know, it's, this is, this, and I'm like, bro, you know, this is your, me in this space right now is your future. This is your future because we still are not the powers that be. The powers that be are looking at, all right, well, let's see how this works in order for, you know, the next, the next thing to sprout up after that. And uh, that was a lot of weight on me. Yes, people watched my show. Yes, we had a good, good time. We had good, but it was still the weight on me, and it was still people just saying, "I'm just not going to be involved." And I always take everything with a grain of salt, and I take stuff proudly, and I just hold my head up, and I keep moving to the next thing. And I, I build. I want everybody in this room, y'all, so young. I want y'all. To, to not look at anything that you accomplished, whether it's up or down, as any failure because it happened. It's something that you dream, you saw it, it happened. I dreamed it, I saw it, it happened. We may not have a season two, we may, we may not, I don't know. But I went out and I created another show that was turned up with T.S. Madison on Fox. So, boom, I'm creating another show. And I'm creating another show and I'm creating another show. Don't let anything stop you, especially if you have seen it. I believe that everybody in this room has been given some type of vision. They've seen something like, I'm gonna be an artist, an architect, a television producer, a songwriter, a singer. You've seen it because it was given to you. It was given to you, it was given to you by God. 
And I don't know how many people in this room believe that God exists. You know, that's your, that's, that's your prerogative if you believe in God, the universe, the higher authority, the power of three, whatever it is that you may believe in. I really want everybody in this room to always believe in it because it is something that's fueling from the outside or something that has given you a sight, a vision, or something that you can see that propels you to know how your future or whatever it is that you, you grand design is for you. And so when you have those dreams and stuff like that, everything may not work out. Everything. Who is that punch? Who is that big <laughs> or strong as me to be like, fuck all y'all, I go ahead and make my money and live, you know. <laughs> so I'm very empathetic to people who are living in those positions where they don't know how they're going to survive. But I always tell them, you got to stand in that mirror and look at that mirror and say, who are you really making happy? Are you happy or are they happy? Because if they're happy and you're not, something is wrong. And you have to fix your happy. You have to. It's like, girl, I lay down and let people pump foreign shit into my titties, ass, cheeks, whatever it is. I let them pump this shit into me because I wanted to be who I am. I could have died in, in any of those moments, and I almost died. And I had to take a stand and say, I would rather die being exactly who I am than live being who they want me to be. And you have to stand in that mirror and say, you would rather be happy in being exactly who you are than being unhappy and them being happy with who they think you are. Fuck that. Now, have your, <laughs> have you some coins or something, <laughs> you know, get you some kind of hustle or something. You know, you have to have yourself together or you try or attempt because if they throw you out on the sidewalk, how are you going to make it? You know, and a lot of people are trapped in that. There are so many people who are trapped in, like, the, how am I, what's going to be my comfort area? What's going to be, how am I going to make it? So now this is strawberry limeade. Mm. 
I can taste that good old lime down at the bottom and the strawberry at the top. <laughs> Mixed with that kettle one. <laughs> Whoa, that was the Holy Ghost? <laughs> the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. I gotta go back for one more of these over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's cute for me, honey. I like the good old, you know. I ain't having no company tonight. If I do, I'm gonna make sure we get into it. They've been doing it. I'm just gonna tell you what I put you. So now I'm finna try one of these tacos. Yes, yeah, what sets our tacos apart is each taco is an eighth of a pounder. What's an eighth of a pound? If you like meat, it's an eighth of a pound of chicken. Oh! You put that weight on it. Oh, you put weight on it. I like my meat to have some weight on it. I like my meat to have some weight on it too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, you my kind of baby. I, 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 I think y'all talking. I don't think y'all talking about the same thing. No, we talking about the same kind of meat. Kind of meat. <laughs> if you a meat eater, all meat the same. But I think oh, I thought you were talking about tacos. I know where your head is. How you know that ain't where everybody else head is? Oh. <laughs> meat is meat, nigga. <laughs> I like some good old melas, less sugar. All right, so we use green leaf and not iceberg because iceberg just don't hit right. It don't hit. Right? It's water. Okay, tomato. You know, little tomato. I know everybody not into tomatoes. They're like, those are aromas. I'm actually into tomatoes as well. Those are aroma. They have more of a sweet acidic note. Good. Now, Murder, we gonna have this going on, or we gonna do this over here? I, I'm. I'm seeing a video. You gonna do this right here, or we gonna do this right? Here? You gonna eat any of this stuff? Cause I eat yours. Yeah, I'm about to. Okay, I'll be fussing with my kids. That's how you do. And you put what is this and right here? Crema. You gotta finish with the white stuff. That's how you Ow! <laughs> Baby, they came over here with me and mine. Yeah, I know. And daddy. In the words of Whitney Houston, about to go in here and make a baby. This gonna definitely make a baby, though. Baby, it's our baby. Yes, sir. Yeah. Listen. Mm. See how I got for sofa on my knees. Yeah, no, I, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Mm. All right, Jimmy, saying this I is good. Whenever you're ready. Okay, you yeah, I'm gonna first. I'm gonna tell you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is thank so you. good. Thank you. And we will be posting this on our channel. Thank you, thank Mo, you. Mo, get all the information right now. <laughs> Please let them know where they can find you. Hey, you can follow me if you're in the ATL. That's season S Z N A T L. If you're up in Buffalo, you can follow us at season B F L O. We always on the move. We pop up. We do birthday parties, soirees, bar mitzvahs. There's no limit to us. You heard the first year from the Taco Queen. We out. You now a well seasoned motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't even get to the part that I want. What is it? Baby, this was just foreplay. The egg rolls. She's not for the egg rolls. I'm known for the egg rolls. She was our master chef for the egg rolls. <laughs> you got the master chef. Show up. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, tell the truth, <laughs> Shane the devil. When I get to a, a when I get to a city, what channel do I go look for? Oh, Food Network. Food Network. I'm oh, Food Network. Network. I ain't gonna lie, I'm fatty. I, I'm, I'm baby. I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, HBO <laughs> second. <laughs> when I'm here, I need to know where I'm going to eat at. Yeah, because I get hangry, and I'm telling everybody that's a verb and adjective, okay? Because it will have action <laughs> to describe like what flashes. I feel. I'm trying to tell you, I'm like, look now, y'all. Y'all know how I get, I, I, my head started to hurt, and I'm like, look, y'all, I'm getting hangry, okay, y'all, we need, I'm stressed. Oh, my God, this is so good, this is so good. Thank so good. you. Okay, now. That's what I want. That is a strawberry um, cheesecake are, egg roll. Are they both strawberry cheesecake? Yep, everything's strawberry. Oh. You allergic, mom? No. Oh. Listen, we have other egg rolls, so I ain't even put my pitch on 
this is just me talking while y'all eating. <laughs> <laughs> we have that was a strawberry balsamic reduction. I had to wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then we dust it with a graham cracker. Dust. What kind of dust? Graham, graham cracker. cracker. If you gonna call a strawberry cheesecake, <laughs> you gotta give me everything a strawberry cheesecake. The, the key to a cook and like the separating separation from a milk? cook and a chef is the chef understands the subtleties and nuances of the dish. So you should taste strawberry cheesecake. That's how you know she a chef. She she get she get detailed. <laughs> that shit's good. It's so good. Like that taco mold. I, I only have to get, get the best for the TS. That's I, right. I, the best for the TS. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm a food critic. So that's what I really want to go on. You're going to do, your, you're gonna do your true best. You want to do, do like, uh, you, you want to do like, uh, what's his name? Uh, so you dip it like this? Mm-hmm. Then I usually get gotta, it dip it real gotta, good in there. I ain't going to lie. I like to get sloppy with it. You know, I ain't no. But I don't want to get none on my drip. You, you got to see it drip. That's how you know. Drip it flavor. Oh, you like it pink in the middle, don't you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This is really good. Thank you. This is good. Oh, my <coughs> knees eating this. Usually when I'm on my knees eating like this, I'm asking God to forgive me for doing the eating that I was doing. <laughs> Mm, this is really good. Thank you. So, how is it so pink? Mm. I fold it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no good answer for none of this. James, you're not going to eat none of this. Yeah, I am. I need to go get this makeup real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go reach right now. Yeah, I'll I'll right. I can dip it back in here. Yeah, that's oh, all man. you. You can double dip. I even bought you a spare. Yeah, I like the double dip. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> when I go, is it just going to drop me off? You know my no, secret. I'm going to drop you off. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you won't get your green card. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. My fault. You know this is the only job I can right, get. That's right. <laughs> you better try to save these $40. dollars <laughs> Giving you cheesecake vibes. I just ruined my whole diet. Oh yeah, you know G go watch this, right? Well, actually, you didn't. That's the best part. Really? Let me blow your mind. So that's a lean chicken breast, fresh, never frozen, which is why we measure it. We eat bulk you up on proteins, not on carbohydrates. It's also a low carb shell. In terms of the egg oh, wow. rolls, egg rolls themselves are actually low carb content. And so you air fry. But the middle, so sweet. Cream cheese and actually now it's mixed. Oh damn. Mm. Stop doing that Master, you so sexual. And bitch. <laughs> How the fuck you think you got here? <laughs> Something sexual happened. <laughs> and your ugly ass came here. <laughs> No. Mm-hmm. This is so good. Please go over there and get her contact information again. One more time for the camera. <laughs> hey, yo, you can catch me on season ATL. That's season ATL, like hot Atlanta, baby. That's for our Atlanta location for Buffalo. You can catch us at season S Z N B F L O. Beloved. <laughs> I'm gonna put that camera out and come down here and get some of these on your knees. <laughs>
So do I. On to this year. All right, Madison. So can you take us all the way back to the 305 um, and tell us how growing up in Florida contributed to the woman who you are today? Oh my God, that was easy. <laughs> I'm from Miami, Florida. Everybody, if you didn't know that, you, you know now. Um, I was born and raised in a Christian home. Um, my mother had us in every kind of school, vacation Bible, tent revival, Sunday school. <sighs> and I still love the Lord. I went through all that and I still love the Lord, okay? Still, and he still loves me, all right? And so I, I grew up there, um, and you know, predominantly uh, Miami is uh, predominantly Cuban at my, right now, Miami. And see Florida, because you have to be, girl, you lady. What you doing? You know, you're supposed to be in there, girl. Why are you listening to me? Why is no one ever there? <laughs> Did you bring me a bite of berry juice for back there? <laughs> so I grew up in this predominantly uh, uh, Hispanic, so I learned how to, I mean, it's like, you're a poor kid, so they may have me eat one door, you want to raise my joy. Me gusta dinero y so, you know, so I grew up there. Um, I got my I, I got my um, start in Miami, um, and I love Miami. I love I represent Dade County 305. See, because I'm from the Dade County 305. They said we respect all one through five. T is better, okay? And I meant that that I was not going to be on television my first TV show, and it was going to be about me fighting, pulling hair, saying fuck, 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 even though there was an episode where I said, pussy, 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 so many times. I asked God to forgive me for that. But, and you know, I made sure that I needed to be depicted in the correct light, because I'm the first black transgender woman to executive produce and start the show. And I was not coming in on some Zeus Network, and this is no shade, I said this earlier with Zeus Network, it's no shade to Zeus Network, but I was not coming in the door, and the whole, my whole storyline was me fighting a bunch of people that weren't happening. There's so much more to me than Ratchet. Ratchet is there, Vulgar is there, Sex Work is there! But it's more to me that I want to learn and teach. I didn't live this long to go through all the things that I went through in my life to show, to depict to you that all I know how to do is windmill and fight and shoot and stab. Yes, I will do those things. Yes. <laughs> but I'm not well, I will windmill too. You, you, you might be too big. I can't swear, but I may have to just come in that bitch windmill. But Yes, I will do these things, but that is not what I am going to come out the door with doing because they don't have to do it. And I'm like, that's all right, Madison. There we go. We're gonna do it. And it's important that when we do this television show, I need to see people of color out there. In my show, I need to see the staff. I need to not only see people of color, I need to see women working for me too. Anybody that's disenfranchised, I need to see it. I need to see, you need to give these people jobs. See, what people don't understand, when you get into the position to call the shots, don't leave your people out. Call the shots, bring your people in now. Now everybody can't come with you, because all, all skin folk ain't kin folk, okay? And you know, that don't mean I didn't want the white folks working for me or working with me. Because we had white producers and white uh, showrunners and stuff like that, but we was not going to have one black person in there. Because I've been on sets where it's been like that. I'm like, hey, I can't tell a black joke in here. I can't do that. <laughs> I need to be able to tell a black joke in here. I need to be able to talk about black eyed peas and everybody understand what I'm talking about. Okay? They understood that. And they said, you know what, Madison? We're going to do that. So we had a month, almost two month pushback on filming because they were trying to find all to accommodate me. And I love them for that because I was able to employ 
black, gay, women, non-binary, trans folk. I saw everything in that system. Now this is, uh, this is what I wanted to see. Now I can say every joke in this bitch. <laughs> talk about black eyed peas, and I can turn around and talk about couscous in this bitch, and we all know what's going on. You know, and I had a, I, that, was a that was a great thing for me. We had a, we had a great show, we did a great run. Um, we were in the process of uh, getting ready for season two. Um, they came to DragCon last year, they was watching me do my, do Bring Back My Girls. Um, you know, I love everybody. I love WeTV for being the launching pad for me. But I, if we come back, it's great. If we don't, you know, I'm in bed with a lot of with a lot of things. I actually have a biopic that's gonna be on its way somewhere, honey, with something new. Uh, I'm right, so can I get one diversity advocate to to grab this mic? Because we're gonna do a very quick. Y'all gonna do a mic talk? Yeah, we're gonna do a. Hi. But before we do that, I have one. In 50 years. You said 50 years? I'm gonna still be here. No, when the name T.S. Madison is mentioned, how do you hope people will describe your legacy? Loud, loud, and in color. That bitch was loud, loud, and in color. And she made me live my life exactly how I'm living it today. And that's what I want to do. Just real simple like that. That's it. Are we going to Mike Thomas? Is it on? Is it on? I can't. Is it? Is it? Is she on that? Oh, it's on, honey. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm I'm K Bot. I'm a local drag artist here. Hi, baby. How you doing? Are you? Are, are you? Are you? Huh? Are you? Um, did you turn in your tape for season sixteen? I did. I did. Really? Yeah. Let me look at your face. <laughs> What's your drag name? K Bot. Well, do something constructive and put that name in there so I can give him about ten points when I see him up there. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering, um, what are your fashion inspirations? Who's making go ooh and ah lately? Oh, no. my fashion inspiration is Fashion Nova because they can stretch around my face. <laughs> I just want to let you know, it's Fashion Nova, and it was not because of Cardi B, it's because they had Fashion Nova Plus, okay? Yeah. They were able to stretch around. I am not 115, 125 pounds no more. I am rich and I eat, okay? <laughs> Thank you, baby. You said we're making me go one off of clothes right now? Um, I love artists. I love LBGT artists. I'm, I'm really trying to get more into supporting anybody that's that's me. Rather than LBGT period. I, I, because we need to really build wealth in our community so that we can buy the motherfuckers out. Yes. Yeah. And for the rich ones that in our community, the rich ones in our community, honey, you know, don't stand by and let this stuff happen because you're rich. You know, we make the wrong vote being this way too now. You know, we make the wrong votes too, based on our pocketbook. Yeah, I want the tax credit. And yes, during the Trump administration, I made a lot of money, but I didn't want him to help. <laughs> he didn't get my vote. And yes, during the Biden administration, my taxes, I got to owe so much more in taxes. But I'd rather that than to be burned, maimed, decapitated, and gunned down. Yeah. Is this thing recorded? Is this thing recorded? Woo! Wait, your mic went out, baby. Press the button. You know you look like Simone. You know you look like Simone. Simone from Drag Race. The winner. <laughs> I just let you know you're a winner. You're a winner, baby. I wanted to say, um, what kind of like? I wanted to say, hey Mo, I see you in the live. <laughs> How you doing? I just want to thank you so much because your platform has encouraged me to come out to my parents. Yes. And it wasn't, it wasn't easy at all because it gave me the confidence that I really can. It, you built me to who I am. Praise the Lord. Thank you, baby. Listen, I was just a vessel. I was just a vessel to, to do that. You know, God, God made you flip the channel and find me and focus you in. Because, you know, listen, God's voice come through just like this, just like that, 
just like that, the voice of God is not something that some Christian folks are going to tell you like, oh, well, you know, God sounds like this. God sounds just like you. He sounds just like me. He sounds just like everybody up here. You just got to be listening for it. And it just came through me. It just channeled through me, honey. Like, hear us. And you got it. Thank you, baby, for telling me that. That makes my life. That makes me right. It was just mattress. Clothes on the floor while I was washing. Took all the sheets on. I was painting. I don't know what the hell I was painting for. I was just painting. And I got so sleepy. Like, you know how when you just eat and you just, the, the, the itis come over you? Jeeps can have narcolepsy and Jeeps and I just fell asleep. Face fell dead down in the bed. When I opened my eyes, my room door was busted in and it was two motherfuckers coming in there saying, where is the safe? So standing up, I was like, the safe? I said, baby, we don't sell that in here. I don't keep no safe, but that's not the type of stuff that we sell in here. Okay? And then he said, well, where's the money? Where's all the stuff? Then I see my cousin bust in the room, butt naked, dick everywhere, right? Well, no, no. <laughs> that other boy that was in there fucking her to dinner, cop turned her around like this, flew her, slammed that whole one baby next to me, boom. And I rolled over looking that bitch in the face. I was like, shit. <laughs> I was so mad at that bitch. Bitch, you said, cousin, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because my cousin was already tied up with some kind of tape. She came in there, the only thing went tied up was the whole dick and balls. I was so mad. So, so was whatever they, whatever they told the police, I gotta tell you. Can I tell the story? I can't tell it. All right, let me finish telling y'all the story. <laughs> So, they throw him on the bed, they jump in the bed, they start tying us up, they snatched all the phone cords out of the house, wrapped us up with the phone cords, tied us together, and this bitch still over here, I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm like, girl, shit the fuck up, girl. <laughs> shit, girl. And so, it was, it was crazy, but it got really real when we were tied together, and with Dixie bags, Kroger bags, Publix brown bags, and brought them over there by our heads. And yes, it's all. Everyone give it up one more time for T.S.
Mariah Carey has always and forever relied 90 through 99. on she was her serious. high I'm register. Sorry, sorry. Am I, am I leaving? But the you singing. Told your lies. She told me lies. Yeah, I don't know. The singing. Uh, always read. She was yeah, so concerned I about singing the song. Person, I remember in my head. That she forgot to sing. He was like a singer. Because he was talking shit. Whitney didn't give a fuck if the song was perfect tonight. Yeah, if her voice was gonna crack, she was gonna pick it back up on the next note. She said, I'm thinking it. I'm always over there like, oh. <laughs> 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 fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. You going to? Yeah, no, I'm on. like, girl, move your head from and this image. She, <laughs> she, she knows she's a vocal scientist. She, in the, she inside the notes. She figured it out. Bro, what you got? What you got? Okay. This is how it's going to come in. This is how it works. We'll see y'all in the airport, girl. We tired, okay? Well, not really. Yeah.